across and covers him, ball and all. It's Farrow who plays it just outside the 22. Steve Mortimer, Steve Mortimer's gone right through, pulled down by Gary Jack. 12 metres from the line, Roman goes up, finds Gould, he gets the pass to Folks, Folks to Langmack, Langmack is over, Langmack has scored for Canterbury Bankstown. Beautiful piece of play, firstly by Steve Mortimer, then Daryl Broman played his part, so did Phil Gould. Here was Broman going up and sucking them in, Gould, Folks and Langmack is in to score adjacent to the uprights. This would have been a very difficult try to stop. It had two great ball handlers, Darrell Broman and Phil Gould in there. They created the, ho the hole, and Langmack's a very good player. He's got a good awareness of what's happening about him. He ran into the gap, and over he goes for the try. So it's 14 points all as we see it again. Broman went to them, gave it to Gould. He went to them, but they were always looking to get it out to these fellows. Folks and Langmack, and Langmack was the man that picked up the riches. Chris Mortimer from right in front with the chance to put the Bulldogs in front. He's done that. Chris Mortimer converts the Paul Langmack try. Canterbury 16, Balmain 14.